Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dana with your weekly Dash of Dex, and today we are making candied strawberries or tanghuru. I hope that I am saying that right. Tanghuru is a candied fruit. Traditionally, tanghuru is made with Chinese hawthorn, which is kind of like a crab apple, and it's a street food. So if you go to China, you'll see along the streets these stands with, or people walking around with these fruits covered in sugar, and it just looks so delicious and so fun. I hope one day I can go and visit and see that. Some say that Bing Tanghuru originated back in the Song Dynasty when one of the emperor's concubines was sick and the doctors prescribed hawthorn berries that were still on the twig and they were dipped in rock sugar syrup. So a little history for you. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the exact history, but that's something that some people believe. Now that you know what Tanghuru is and a little bit of the history, let's get going. But before we get started, I want you guys to dash along to that subscribe but and tick it because if you don't like this one you'll like the next one and i want you guys to become a part of the dash fam so we can all be here together when the next one comes out so now let's dash along So you're going to bring sugar and water to a boil. I use two cups of sugar and one cup of water, but you can change the ratios as long as it's two to one. First, you wanna start by making sure that the fruit of choice, in my case, strawberries, are washed and pat dry. Make sure you pat them dry because if they're wet, it will interfere with the sugar adhering to the fruit. Any small droplets of water will interact with the sugar and it'll splatter and that's no fun. Now you want to arrange your fruit on a skewer. You can use a fork, you can use a chopstick anything that's kind of pointy that you can skewer something into that can work perfectly for this just you don't want to use your fingers because this is boiling hot sugar and that's burn city while you're waiting you can also prepare your parchment sheet so you're going to take a baking sheet or a plate and put a piece of parchment paper on it if you don't have great quality parchment paper and you want to make sure completely make sure they don't have any sticking just spray it with some pam just to be extra safe it may be super super tempting but do not stir it you might be looking and I'm like, oh, I just want to stir it so badly. Don't, don't do it because that will lead to crystallization and that's not what we want because we won't be able to dip our fruit inside. My first mixture, I did stir it a little and my pan was an induction pan, so it wasn't really heating completely. So I would definitely suggest doing this on top of the stove so it can heat the entire pan. And use your candy thermometer by putting it inside. And once it reaches the hard crack stage of 300 degrees Fahrenheit, that's when you know your sugar is ready. You can take a spoon, a chopstick, and dip it in your sugar mixture and then immediately dip it in some ice cold water. If it hardens, then you're ready and you've reached your hard crack stage. So you want to take your fruit and dip it inside of your mixture. Don't take a spoon and spoon it over because one, it takes too long and two, that will lead to cooking your fruit just a little bit more than you want to. And doing that, it'll just make everything leak out and it just, it'll make the sugar not adhere to your fruit as well. The sugar coating should immediately harden on your fruit. If it's not, then it hasn't reached its point yet. Place it on your parchment paper and wait for it to cool. Wait at least 10, 15 minutes because you don't want to burn yourself. So make sure it's cool or you can pop it in the fridge even better. And of course, enjoy. I can't believe I almost forgot. So the most important tip for this video, cleaning your pan afterwards because it'll look like this and it'll be a disaster. You'll think, oh no, I'm gonna have to get my Brillo pad. I'm gonna have to be scrubbing for hours. No girl, you don't. All you have to do now is boil some water, put it inside of your pan, whether it crystallized, whether it was perfect, you can put it in both of those pans. Sugar dissolves in hot water. Once the water is boiled, it'll completely dissolve that water. So let the water sit inside of that pan for 10 to 15 minutes until it completely dissolves. So easy. Don't even try to use that Brillo pad. Put that away. Just use water. Water straight from the tap. That's all you need. So now let's give it a try. Look how pretty those look. Mm. So good. It's perfect because those strawberries are still super juicy, but you have that outer crunchy shell. And it almost reminds me of, you know when you have a marshmallow and you're at a campfire and you let it get a little bit toasty and it tastes kind of burnt, but like good sugary burnt. It's kind of what it tastes like. And oh, it's just so good. The crunch and the sweetness and the juiciness from the strawberry. Mmm. 
animal. So there you go. You have a taste of Chinese street food at home that you've made by yourself. So you've been able to experience a different culture in the comfort of your own home. Hopefully one day we can all go and travel elsewhere, but right now it's a little bit easier. Alrighty guys, and that's it. How easy, how delicious, and how good do these look? I mean, imagine bringing these to a party. Everyone would invite you back. They would, and they would think you spent forever making these, but do they know it was so easy. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you guys subscribe because if you don't like this one, you'll like the next one. And I want you guys to join the Dash fam. Make sure you guys give me a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this because it really does support my channel. And I hope to see you guys back here next week. All right. Bye guys. Love you.